Hello, my name is Dr. Don Buford. I'm an orthopedic surgeon in Dallas, Texas. I'm also the director of the Dallas PRP and Stem Cell Institute. The title of this short case study is MSK Ultrasound and PRP. In this example, we're using platelet-rich plasma and concentrated platelet-poor plasma to treat an athlete with a left rectus femoris tear. A brief history, this is a 21-year-old Division I NCAA football player. He had an initial injury to his left quad region about one month ago. About a week ago, he had a re-injury. An MRI scan done within the last week shows fluid and a hematoma collection and disruption of the left rectus muscle. Here are some of the MR images. On the AP view, you can see the difference in uh, side to side between the left leg and the right leg. And on the lateral view, you can see the area of muscle injury and muscle disruption in the anterior portion of the rectus. So the orthobiologic choice here, I decided to use platelet-rich plasma with dehydrated platelet-poor plasma, and we dehydrated the PPP in order to increase the plasma protein concentration. So the disposable that I used uh, is shown on the left here. At the tip of the blue arrow is an integrated, uh, essentially 65 to 70 kilo Dalton filter that leaves behind the large plasma proteins while dehydrating the platelet-poor plasma. Uh, that device gets put into the centrifuge uh, seen on the right picture and after centrifuging for 14 or 15 minutes we're left with a um, deconstructed uh, stack and we can make our PPP and PRP at the end of that centrifuge process. We then use MSK ultrasound to guide a 25 gauge spinal needle into the rectus muscle at the site of injury. On this slide, the green star is our target. That's the area where the muscle is most damaged. Now this is an axial view. So as we identify the extent of the injury, we can then bring a spinal needle, and in this case it's a 25 gauge spinal needle, into the area of damage. And um, we can inject our, our orthobiologic at this point. If you watch carefully, you will see our orthobiologic as we inject and slowly back out uh, the needle. So if you're interested in learning more, we do run a training course twice a year. The next course is next month in July, uh, at the end of the month, the 26th through the 28th of July at the Cosmopolitan Hotel in Las Vegas. We do offer 18 CME credits. Uh, I think we have the largest faculty um, of, of any uh, MSK ultrasound specific course in, in the United States anyway. We have 19 faculty, 11 of whom have um, the RMSK or RMSKS designation. Uh, we cap the course at 75 students so that everyone gets plenty of hands-on experience. We have 35 live models, so typically it's, it's one model per two students. Um, every live model comes with an ultrasound machine, so there's plenty of uh, exposure. I think that makes our faculty to student ratio uh, one to four, which is uh, very amenable to, uh, again, to training and expert instruction and oversight. Uh, new for this 25th course, we have a handheld wireless ultrasound training module. We have uh, secured a, a deal with the newest lightweight handheld modules uh, that are portable ultrasound units that connect either to Android or iOS tablets or smartphones. And uh, these are new to the U.S. market. And uh, we've secured some for this course, basically hot off the press, to allow us to, to use these in instruction and for comparison purposes. So hope to see everyone there. If you're interested, orthosono.com is the website for more information and for registration. Thank you.